Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bimo from Hot Geek. In today's guide video, I'm about to simply show you how you can fix if Google Play Services keeps stopping itself. But before we get started with this video, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let us get started with today's video. How to fix Google Play Services keeps stopping. Now, if you're having the error of Google Play Services keeps stopping, you want to understand that there isn't a definitive way to find out why this happens. And this usually actually happens due to the services and Google apps not functioning properly. Maybe you actually updated your software and some of the files got missing during the update, or maybe there is some kind of problem with the application you are facing some kind of bugs on your android phone you could also go ahead and actually try to update it and check and you can also try to actually flash your custom or your stock rom which you actually used during the original process when you purchased the phone but keeping that aside i'm going to show you some of the fixes on which will hopefully get your google play services framework to actually work correctly again and for that we are going to first of all simply start by launching this settings app now once you actually launch your settings app what you have to do is you have to simply tap on the search box on your settings in my case it is right at the top and over here i will simply type in date and time now the reason i'm using the search box and not showing you from the settings is because all of the android devices has different interfaces and if i have a date and time option under my system you could have the date and time option under your settings under your accessibility settings or some other place so the bottom line here is that you would simply have to find it depending on your own device and i will simply find a date and time right over here and here you want to make sure you have actually set automatic date and time because sometimes what happens is that if your date and time is not correct many of the applications will not function properly you will not be able to browse and other things as well so you want to make sure the first thing to actually set date and time after that what you can do is the second fix is to definitely actually restart your phone so press and hold the power button on your phone and then here you would be able to see the button called restart you have to go ahead and tap on the restart button right over here so go ahead and simply tap on the restart button in order to actually see whether the issue has been fixed because restarting basically will refresh all of the app and application data which you have on your phone if that solution works for you that is perfectly fine if it doesn't then the other thing i'm going to show you is to simply actually open settings once you open settings what you have to do is look for the option called apps so tap on the apps button and over here you have to simply look for the app called google play services if you don't find google play services you might also actually want to tap on the three dots on the top right hand side and then tap on show system apps or show default apps so that will basically actually show you all of the system apps which you have on your device as well and you'd basically need to go ahead and find the one called google play services so right here you can see this app called google play services i'm going to tap on it and once you actually tap on it first of all you have to tap on the force stop button on the right hand side once you actually force stop this application what you can do is tap on this option called storage and cache so after that you have to tap on the button called clear cache on the right hand side again and then we're going to come back and what we will do is from the top right hand side we will tap on the three little dot icon and over here we will actually uninstall the updates so tap on uninstall updates and it is going to ask us that this app will be replaced with the factory version so we have to tap on ok and it will actually basically uninstall all of the updates of this google play services now if that was causing the issue you could go ahead and see if the problem has been fixed if it is not fixed the other thing you can do is again on the top right hand side you will tap on this google play store icon and we will actually again actually update the google play services app and it is basically going to actually refresh and update every type of bugs which was there before so tap on the update button once you see it and once you tap on update it may take some time to update google play services and hopefully one of these solutions may have fixed your issue if it did fix the issue then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply make sure to leave them down in the comment section Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.